very often as people that work within marketing automation platforms we get asked to import upload HTML email templates that are either designed in-house by our development staff or are provided to us from external sources so this video we're going to show you how to actually take that HTML file and put it into Marketo so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the design studio once in the design studio what you'll need to do as we've done in many other videos is on the actual folder that we're going to actually put the template into we right click on the folder so in this case it's the templates folder and we select new email template from the list the pop-up appears and you'll notice that the folder name is already populated because we right clicked on the list on the left hand side and we're going to insert a name for this particular email template so we're going to call this video test and once again as with creating any new asset for Marketo you can provide a description to give you a better understanding of what you're actually creating once done just press the create button okay and then you'll see it appear in the list somewhere depending both normally at the bottom of the list because it hasn't sorted it alphabetically until you refresh the page what we now need to do is we need to edit this particular template so because it already exists we can right click on the template and we can click edit draft it will open up this draft in a new window so just bear that in mind if it doesn't automatically move to the new window you will find it in a new window the preview doesn't show us anything at this point in time but if we click the button at the top here or we tick the, click the tab at the top here that says HTML source we'll notice that it is populated with some code now this code you'll notice here it says click HTML source above to insert HTML if we go back to the preview page that's the bit of text that's there if we highlight it it, it, it shows up yellow and that effectively is controlled by this section here there is a class in here which is Marketo editable with an ID edit text this means that everything that's wrapped within this div in other words any text that sits in this particular div tag here so there's the open div tag and there's the closed div tag anything that sits within that will be editable when the template is selected when creating an email what I have here on this page you'll notice is that bit of text because I'm going to use that in a second I'm going to add it into my HTML to make that particular template editable when creating an email you'll also notice if I scroll down here I have a responsive email template that has been brought into notepad to enable me to copy and paste it into the Marketo instance so if I do that now what I'm going to do is literally just copy all of this like so control C to copy all of it I'm going to come back over to the Marketo instance control A to select all of what's there already I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to press control V to drop all of my code into the Marketo instance if we go back to the preview now we will see the template appearing on the page but you'll also notice that if I hover over this none of it is coming up yellow which means at this current point in time if I was to create an email using this template it wouldn't be editable so what we do is we go back to the source we find the opening body tag which is this bit here and to make the entire template editable what we'll do is we'll go back to the top we'll grab that bit of code that was in the original template before we added our own code and inside the opening body tag we will drop that div okay because that's an open div we need to close the div off so we've dropped it just inside the body tag so that we we'll look for the closing body tag which will be towards the bottom here it is here we'll drop this line down one and we'll put a closing div in here and that will mean that we've now closed that editable div off if we go back to the preview page 
you'll also notice here that it's still not showing up yellow but if we were to create an email based on this template the entire section from the logo at the top down to the social icons will be completely editable if you wanted specific sections of the template to be editable and others to be locked you would put Marketo editable classes with unique IDs on the areas that you would like to be editable. Once you've finished your template and you're happy with it, you click Save and Close. But you'll also notice here that we don't have an approval tick as we've got on some of these other re some of these other templates here. So we need to right-click the template, and we need to click Approve. Once the template is approved, you'll notice that it'll have a, a little green circle with a white check mark in it. Please bear in mind that when you are actually creating email templates within Marketo, if the email templates have been created externally and the images are hosted externally, make sure that those images are available and haven't been saved on a local source, otherwise they will not function within the template. If you're unsure, ask for the images to be provided to you, upload them into the images and files folder within Marketo and reference them back within your email template. We will cover uploading images and files in another video so make sure to keep an eye out for that one. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button below and for notifications of any future videos make sure to hit the subscribe button now.